107.5 GC out of Shaz number one for hip hop and R&B live with Tonga Paul. Man, I've been waiting, waiting and waiting for this interview, man. First of all, man, welcome home, cuz. What's happening? Thanks, cuz. Everything good. Hey, man. In, in case y'all don't know, uh, Bump is my cousin, and it's so funny. I was just telling a story. Like I heard about Bump J. Like heard the music. Like yo, like this is this is straight. They're like man, this is a new dude. I never seen a picture of him before. <laughs> then all of a sudden the picture came up. I'm like, wait. I'm like, is that? I won't say your government name, but I'm like, wait a minute, man, that's my cousin. I babysat this dude. <laughs> this is crazy, man. Hey, hey, man. Hey, man. Uh, it, it's, it's a pleasure to see you, bro, man. You too, bro. Now let's let's jump right to it. We're gonna go back seven years. This is gonna go back. I'm at a sports bar. You come out to the sports bar, like, yo, I'm about to go down south for a little while. Next thing you know, I hear. I hear you've been picked up, and they like for for armed robbery. For and I'm like, nah. What? I mean, you just went. You going out? That don't make sense. What? What? What happened, bro? Well, uh, really, tell you the truth, Tom. I I I never really made the transition fully over from rap from the streets. Uh -huh. You know, everything happened kind of fast and. You know, I just was out there in the streets real heavy. I never really made I always had one foot in the street still. And I just never made that transition fully. And I was still doing things that I was still doing. You know, everything I had so fast, I still was doing things I was still doing. And as a result, when you see me, I was on my way to a show. Yeah, oh, okay. And now I happen to already have a one, so. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. So that's what it was. So that, that, because that's the thing that I think a lot of people want to know. They're like, yo, we got. I mean, at that point, move around is on a McDonald's commercial. <laughs> yeah, it's on a McDonald's commercial, and, and from the from the aspect, you know, everybody feeling like, yo, the money had to be there, or this, it was just you never could really let go of the street life. Yeah, I mean, that's what I can say. I can say that I just never made that transition. I didn't consider myself a rapper. Really? For real. That's crazy. I mean, you got you had a hit record. That's that's crazy to even hear you say that. So it was just like. All right, you know what I mean. Like you, it, everything happened so fast. You wasn't able to really make that whole that quick transition. Right. I I just still considered. I just was in the streets too much. You know. Man, yeah. now, so uh, we are we gonna jump from that. We are gonna jump from that. Now, hey, when you were away, did you get a chance to like kind of keep your your, your ear to the street and hear what was going on as I far did, as rap? I did. I mean, the little stuff they gave us. They gave us. Music on the computer. Mm -hmm. You can download to MP3, but it was kind of controlled. Okay. But uh, you know, I'm making my way around things. I ended up getting me a little horn. Okay. And my brother sent me stuff. I was downloading stuff, so uh -huh. you know, I was keeping up. I okay. got to keep up with going on. Yeah, you got to keep up what's going on, man. Now, with that being said, like, who are some of your your favorite very young guys out right now? From the city. Yeah, from the city. Let's go start from the city. Well, um, you know, I always had a relationship with Dirk. You know, we've been talking. Since he really took off, okay, and uh, so I mess with his music, Lil Herb, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Baby Day from Old East, where I'm at. All right, you know, it's a proud moment when I see that. Yeah, you feel me? So uh, I mess with them. It's, it's I mess with all the artists really. Uh, Louis, I got a guy right now who I'm on his I'm on his sing, uh, first single off his album. Uh, uh, really, Top Money. Okay, you know, Young Bull, but uh, I mess with the whole city really. That's what's up. That's oh, what's up. Now, as far as like industry wise, outside of Chicago. Outside of Chicago, I mean, of course, the J. Coles, the Kendricks. It's you really can't miss me. But uh, Drake, Future. Okay. I do a lot of Future, especially working out. All right. But you really can't miss me on the uh, music. Uh, Chance. Okay. Um, I'm everywhere with it. I'm even going Young Dolph, Yo Gotti. You know, I listen to everything, really. That's what's up. Yeah, you had, yeah, you had to put on some pounds since you got, <laughs> got loped up a little bit in there. Yeah. Hey, hey, man. Now, now, with that being said, well, let me let me let me step take a step back. Let me take a step back real quick. Because then maybe you can maybe you can maybe add some some light on this. Because Chief Keith, mm -hmm. Keith to me is a, is a talent, flat out talent, mm -hmm. flat out talent, young and it's just like. You think he's he's a he's an example of like man stuff happening so fast that he really didn't understand what's going on. That's why we keep that. seeing him getting in trouble. I can see that. I was reading some some on um, I, I forgot where I read it, but Lil Reese had a quote. Mm -hmm. He said, "In in all the other states, I'm a rapper. 
in Chicago and BD. <laughs> 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 I love it with that. that. That means it just makes perfect sense. You living here, and right. no matter you rapping or not, it's you still in that exactly. lifestyle, and people know you from from that. Exactly. I get that. I never. I guess I. I guess so it's from, hard to make that transition, really. I think that I, I think people need to really realize that because to, to me, I feel like, and I say it all the time. I'm like, man. Pfft, once you once you then kind of got a hit record and you out here traveling around and you seeing the world, it's like I right, forget that. But I guess when the people around you, they still see you, and, and you still see yourself in a way as 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 the guy that you was 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 before it all popped off. All right. That's that's crazy. Now with that being said about Chicago, you being the way city has changed. Like in seven years, the city has definitely took a different kind of toll. Like I mean, a turn. Uh, the violence here has become just it's just it's it's crazy in a sense where it's just like it's just random acts of violence where it used to be in a sense you kind of knew why somebody had something happen to them. Now it's just random. It's just everything's going on. What do you think about that? Uh, from the outside looking in, it looked crazy just sitting down in my cell looking at things. But when I was in it, like you said, it was always violent. It was all Chicago always been a violent town. It's just now, I believe, uh, like you said, it's a lot of silly stuff happening. Mm -hmm. But more than that, it's just so much magnified now because of social media and mm -hmm. you know everybody a reporter with they with they phones, and it's a lot more magnified. But it is getting reckless uh, uh, and it's out of control. Really, we mm -hmm. got to start with the youth. As far as to so me, in my in my opinion, I think we got to start with the youth. Yeah. So I mean, that's that's your. I mean, what would be your your advice? Now, I mean, you, what would you say to somebody? Like, I mean, especially a, a a young guy coming up thinking about doing music, but you know he in the street. What would you tell some people out there? Well, all the young artists that I used to talk to from from Jay, I used to always tell them. My problem was I just never wanted to leave Chicago and sit down and focus on that career. Cause to, the only way that you really, to me, gonna get a duck it is to stay out the way. And if I believe if I would have went to L.A., Atlanta, any of that, you know, maybe it would have turned out a little different. Mm -hmm. But me being here, I'm just living the same lifestyle I always was. So, you right. know, get away. Get away. Sit down somewhere. Yeah. You know, dug off. Yeah, that's, I, I, I think that's something I've, I've said to, to people that ask me anything about it. I'll tell them, like, yo, man, you got to leave for a little while. But then don't forget home, because some people kind of forget home. I'm not going to bring up names, but still. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, that's fire. So, <laughs> some people forget home sometimes, but, nah, I mean, um, you do got to get away, man. You, get, you, you got you to gotta stay away from all of the craziness. Now. But that, with that being said, like I mean, you and Ye, have y'all re anybody reached out? Who's reached out to you since you've been been back? Uh, a lot of artists. A lot like, of artists. Ooh, you gotta get. We gotta. I know you don't want to because that's not in your character, but you got a name drop. Yeah. I mean, I don't really want to say until the music, the final is is ready. Cause okay. I, a lot of people been reaching out though. Everybody you can think of. Let's just say that really? they've been reaching, and you know, just not not so much even just music, but it's good you home. Mm -hmm. You know, congratulations you home. But a lot of people all. Of, Guys. All right, that's what's up. Now, what are we thinking about signing? What are we? Are we going back to the label situation? Are you? Are you thinking about that? I'm still figuring it out a little bit. I, I, I've had some talks with a lot of people. Mm -hmm. and I'm just weighing my options right now. All right, right. It's gonna be big. It's gonna be big. Yeah. Okay. That's what we want. That's what we want to hear. That's definitely what we want. Before we we make it, any kind of announcement, I know I got B Dub here. B Dub, you got any? You got any questions? That's my though? brother right here. I mean, ain't got nothing to do with music. B Dub, that's my brother. <laughs> right. I mean, B Dub. B Dub been talking about this moment. <laughs> so I can't. I can't wait. So I can't wait. <laughs> like man. So I, you don't got nothing you want to ask him, Dub? Man, when I was locked just up. Just win. Come on, you know. So we gonna do it again. We just it's a matter of yeah, so a month. <laughs> when I was locked up, man, everybody come in, look, from the MCC, man, D-Dub, he playing you every day. Yeah. D-Dub rapping, you know. D-Dub been rapping, man. Well, mom go to my mama crib, man. We, we from yeah. Buffalo, you know what I'm saying? We on the back, we on <laughs> back street, porch. Back porch. Yeah. Right. Yes, sir. That's that, that's that definitely real love, bro. Um... And we outside of that, I mean, you didn't, you didn't, be, you didn't been gone and your... And your, and your son that became like a basketball star. How's yeah. that been? Man, they, they put him up there crossing me over yesterday. <laughs> they didn't put the stuff up there while I was doing him wrong. <laughs> but uh, I haven't actually been able to go to one of his games. But, you know, 
it's a proud father moment. I see him. He's a good kid. Yeah. You know. Yeah, he did. I mean, he definitely look. I, I've seen him play. He's a monster. Yeah. I, I, I seen him play. Yeah. Stay away from Bump Leader. Yeah, don't, don't. Well, I got a little taste of it yesterday. Yeah, the leave him alone, dog. I got to try one more time. I told him, I'm going to hack him. <laughs> What's up with the jail ball on him? <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, we got this big, we got this big concert coming up called Summer Jam. Like a huge concert called Summer Jam. We got everybody on it. Some people that rock with you before you went away. Now, I, I just got to ask, man, you going to be a part of it? Yeah, yeah. I'm, you know, I'm going to be on GCI Summer Jam. I'm really excited about it. There it is. Hey, man, y'all make some noise in here, man. I know everybody's yeah, home yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody's home yeah, down. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about, man. So you heard it, Chicago. Bump J will be a part of Summer Jam. First performance in seven years. He will be well, between your God and Jesus. Between we ain't gonna tell him where he gonna fall, are we? He just okay, well you just put the beans there. You, you messed up the radio moment there. Be not afraid. We gonna put him. He's gonna come on between Yo Gotti and Jeezy. So you already know what it is, man. Chicago, you gotta represent for for my cousin. You gotta represent for a dude that really represents Chicago in in the in the best way possible, man. He, he, he went away, came back and he ready to do his thing. New music wise, are we going are we gonna leak some stuff? What's going on with the music? Le we leaking yeah, some music? I got music? something for you to play today. You got some? Yeah, I got some for you. Ah, there it is. That's what I want to hear. <laughs> so we're going to get some new music inside the Rush Hour mix, man. And, and we're going to hear some new music on the stage. And we just, what are we doing? New music on the stage, too. You know, B-Dub, he want me to turn up some of that old stuff. So I got to do that, too. But it's definitely going to be a lot of the new, too. That's what that is. That's what I'm talking about. Bump J, man. That's what it is. Welcome home, brother. We're going to see you in Summer Jam.